Howdy Summers. Today we're going to be doing a new kind of challenge. As the title suggests, today we are going to be building tiny homes for different Disney princesses. I was inspired to do this by one of my favorite Sims YouTubers at the moment, Sid Mac. She does a lot of builds like this, so I will leave her link in the description if you would like to check out her channel. But before we can get into this challenge, we need to build our shells. So here are the three shells that we will be working with today. Three shells for three different princesses. I have snatched up a select few of official Disney princesses. So there are a few people missing. People like Pocahontas and Mulan who are based on real people. I'm not going anywhere near that. Moana isn't on here because I haven't seen that movie. And neither is Anna from Frozen because apparently she's not considered an official Disney princess. But let's see who our first princess is getting a tiny home. Snow White. Okay, the original Disney princess. I guess I'm going to be going for kind of a cottagey vibe with this build because Snow White does spend a lot of time <laughs> in a cottage for this film. And I made the mistake of building some diagonal houses, so this will be fun. But I'm going to go ahead and take this roof and I'm already having some like major issues <laughs> with this, but it's fine. I'm going to go ahead and just do maybe something like that. Although we could actually spice this up a little bit and do kind of a fun thing like that. Maybe not quite like that. Let me do some adjustments. I don't know. That's honestly probably the best I can do. I am not good with cottages. <laughs> we'll also get a couple of these half gabled roofs and we'll just bring the sides in. I'm going to do the same over on this side, I think. That looks a little strange. Maybe we go for a different roof type on this one. We have the hipped roofs that might be good for this. We'll take inspiration from that, I guess, but we're not going to go too crazy with the roofing. For the color scheme of the house, Snow White's colors are blue, red, and yellow. So I think that's what we're going to be primarily using on this build. And I apologize for the lighting on this lot. I can't do anything about it, unfortunately. But what if we went for like a blue roof? I think that could be really nice. I've never done a blue roof before. And you know what? Maybe we should actually bring this up to a foundation. And then for the outside, I think I want to primarily stick with kind of a yellow going around. And then we can use like a red brick or something to kind of make some accents. This isn't red enough for me, though, <laughs> is the problem. So maybe we don't go with a red brick. I think I'm actually going to go with this one here. It has this kind of like stone built in kind of column look, which I know a lot of people don't like, but it could like represent the castle that she's originally from having that little bit of stone there. And then we can try again, maybe with the red brick on the bottom here. Oh, you know what? We can't do stairs because we're on a diagonal. So maybe we actually shouldn't have this on the foundation. Maybe that's asking a little too much. When are they going to let us put stairs on a diagonal? And I'm still going for that cottagey look. So I think I'm going to want to use a door from Cottage Living. Probably that one would be the best. And then same with our windows here. We'll get a little circular one at the top here. And then I will also probably use the shuttered windows from base game. I think I also want to bring these ones in just because the shuttered windows fit a little strangely up here. So I think we'll get just two of these. And I almost forgot about a roof trim, but luckily I have remembered. <laughs> and I think I actually want to do that in red as well. We'll go ahead and grab our essentials, such as a mailbox, which I think this one could be really, really cute. And of course we're gonna need a trash can. So I will just get this one from Get Together and we will just stick this in the corner back here. So for the inside, I'm thinking we'll do a kitchen living dining situation in this big part. We'll have a bathroom over here, 
And then this strange kind of corner bit, I think I want to turn into like a storage supply closet with a bunch of like cleaning stuff because in Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, she did have to clean the house for them. So I think we could do that. And then up here will just be her bedroom. We have that corner thing again. I don't think I'm going to do anything with it in this one. It's just going to be kind of a blocker. So with that in mind, I am going to get some wood flooring for in here. And I'm just going to go with the basic brown. We won't look at the red, yellow, and blue for this. We do need to get some interior doors, though, if we're going to be able to actually access any of this. Now for the wallpaper, I'm thinking we should do a yellow in here. And honestly, maybe we'll go for this very vibrant one. I'll start with our kitchen. And I do think that I'm going to be using these blue counters. And this is definitely going to have to be a situation of like a wraparound kitchen because this is a very tiny space. And unfortunately, the counters have this little like glitch problem because of just being on a diagonal. <laughs> so we're going to have to deal with that, unfortunately but it is what it is. Building on a diagonal is definitely proving to be kind of difficult because I've had to make a lot of adjustments with this kitchen just to get stuff to fit in properly. And I still kind of feel like it's a little wonky, but it is what it is. We will just have to deal with it. I'm gonna get us a red sink and they should still be able to use this part for making the food so that should be functional but i will definitely be testing this <laughs> before i put this up now let's figure out a living room situation this is definitely not a big space so i'm a little worried we won't really have room for dining unless we like stick it over here <laughs> but i do know i want to get a fireplace i just hope we can fit one in here we may have to go for like a really tiny one maybe we'll go with one of these from horse ranch i just don't know which one i like the blue one a lot i think that one's really nice oh we have some of these mushroom seats <laughs> this could be kind of cool but i'm gonna not go with those as much as I would like to. I actually think something like these armchairs would be really nice. And do we have like a really tiny table? We do. I don't know that I like any of these though. Oh, we have this one from Tiny Living. Maybe we'll do that in the red. Now for dining, we are definitely gonna have to put this in this little corner, which makes me a little sad because I was actually kind of hoping that I could do like a eight person table for Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. But we just don't have the room in here for that. So this is just how it's going to be. I'm going to get this table from the Paranormal Pack. I'll get some of these small curtains from what I believe is growing together. This wreath actually kind of reminds me a little bit of Snow White. So I think I want to put this maybe above the door. But I think that is our kitchen living area complete. So let's go ahead and move to our bathroom now. Do we have a matching wall tile for this one? It appears that we do. We can get a little yellow shower tub combo. We're still having lighting issues with this stuff. I don't really know what's up. Diagonal walls. Don't use them. <laughs> we'll add a little rug in here and I'll just leave it the color it is. Then that is going to be our bathroom. Nothing too fancy. So I'm going to work on this little closet real quick and I will be right back. It's definitely not fancy which means that I think I did pretty good. We've got the broom and dustpan, some various like laundry based stuff, a box that probably has more cleaning supplies in it. But yeah, this definitely looks like it has seen better days. It has been through some things. Moving on to the final room in our house, we have the bedroom. And for this room, I think I actually want to go with a blue wallpaper. I'm going to do this bed from Horse Ranch. It's got the red with a little like blue blanket over it. So I think that would be perfect for in here. Although I really like this swatch of the bed too. I feel like it's giving Cinderella though. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we'll get this dresser from Dream Home Decorator. We should definitely get a mirror. Part of me is leaning towards getting like a circular mirror, kind of like the magic mirror that the evil queen looks through. Maybe something like this. And since it's glowing, it could count as magic. We'll get just a couple end tables in yellow, I think would be good. And maybe we'll get a red and blue lamp <laughs> for over here. 
I know that might be a little strange, but I kind of like it. I put some plants around and I think that is the Snow White house complete. I think it turned out really, really cute. Now let's move on to our next one. And the next home is going to be the home of Princess Jasmine. For this house, we actually have a third floor going on, but I kind of want to replace it with a round room for the purpose of roofing. So what I'm going to do is actually place this on top. I had to make some adjustments for this to fit properly in the center, but we got there and I'm wanting to do kind of something like this. And then I want to get like a little roof piece. I'm thinking something like that. I don't know if that's the exact one that I want. Maybe this one is better actually. Now Jasmine has an interesting color scheme because she has like kind of a light blue outfit but it's leaning more towards like a greeny blue almost. So I'll see what I can find with that but I doubt I'll really find anything that matches perfectly. Actually in that lighting that's actually pretty close. I can't say I'm particularly a fan of that, but I don't know. It might be our best option. Question is, do we have a matching roof trim? Maybe in this case, we lean more towards like a gold type of accent, something like that. It's not quite the same, but I think it'll be okay. And for the rest of the roofing, I think I'll just do something like this. We'll get the same color for the rest of this. It looks a little strange, but honestly, it's not too bad. And I think I want to use this wallpaper. Now, my color perception is definitely off because I know for a fact this is not the exact color that Jasmine wears, but it matches pretty well with the roofing and I can't find the exact color that she has, which is driving me insane. And for this build, I want to use a lot of the stuff from the Courtyard Oasis kit, which may or may not be a mistake, but I feel like it has some good stuff for Jasmine. I switched the world lighting a little bit because it looked kind of better, but I also got a few of these lights from the Courtyard Oasis kit. And I'm really torn on what door to use because none of these really like match. The closest one is this light blue one. So I'll probably end up going with it. I'm not particularly a fan of any of these windows if I'm being honest. I don't know which ones I really wanna use. I would assume these ones because they match the door, but <laughs> I don't know. I'm not liking the color scheme. I finally settled on some windows and I think I have my layout figured out. So we're once again going to do an open kitchen, living, dining situation. And also I'm kind of feeling like this house in particular is not really a tiny house because this area is huge, but we do have a bathroom over here. And then this room is just closed off. There's nothing going on in it. Our ladder is going to be over here to the top where we have this kind of long hallway and we'll have Jasmine's room and then some kind of like office, which I know is definitely not a Jasmine thing. Maybe it can be some kind of like treasure room or something though for like the Cave of Wonders from Aladdin. But I think that is the plan for this house. The Courtyard Oasis kit comes with this very like strange kind of flooring. There are multiple pieces to it to make like a certain pattern or so. So I did the best that I could with what I got and I think it's fine. I think I'll probably go with this. It doesn't match exact but it's got kind of that green flower tone to it that is also present in the flooring. And it actually, I feel, is pretty close to Jasmine's outfit color. So I think we'll have to go with that. Now, I did want to get a fireplace in this build, and I don't think that this pack actually comes with one. So we are going to probably have to dip into another pack. I don't, well, do we even want a fireplace in this build? Does that really suit Jasmine? I don't really know, but I'm going to look anyway. <laughs> Keeping it on the color scheme, of course. What if we did this one? It's definitely not on color scheme, but that reminds me of the Cave of Wonders with like the sand being a really dark color at night. And then you just got like the glowing eyes and such, which this definitely to me looks like a face. <laughs> <laughs> I decided to dig into the orange a little bit because I knew we had like a tiger stripe rug. And Jasmine does have a pet tiger named, I think it's Raj or Raja. I can't remember now, but I just thought that would be perfect for her. So that's what we're going to be doing in our living room. But with that being said, I do think our living room is basically done. Now we need to get a kitchen. And unfortunately, Courtyard Oasis does not come with one of these. I swear it's getting harder and harder to... <laughs> 
<laughs> find things of a similar color. But I do think I'm probably going to end up using these counters. I know a lot of people hate this set, and believe me, it's not my favorite either. Honestly, this refrigerator is pretty close to the color of her outfit. Like, it's an almost minty kind of color, but not quite. Do we have matching cabinets for these? I don't think we do. Maybe they do, and I'm just being ridiculous. I don't know. All right, so kitchen is done. I'm starting to place some more stuff from the Courtyard Oasis kit. So we've got a vase over here. I found this little tea set. We've also got some plants that I'm going to put around as well. I also wanted to get a few of these lanterns around the place just because I think they'd be nice. So I'll probably put one like in the back over here. We also need to get a door for the bathroom over here. Now we are going to need a dining table as well. And unfortunately, the Courtyard Oasis kit does not come with any of that. So I'm kind of leaning towards this table. These ones honestly match. So I think... That's our best option. We'll just put that right over there. And then I'm just gonna hang up some art around the place. Nothing too fancy, I don't think. Honestly, this kit doesn't have a lot, which it's kind of sad that that's the case, that we really don't have much. For the bathroom, I'm thinking we do something a little simpler. We'll get a shower tub combo because why not? I'm thinking we get a gold sink. We need to bring the gold accents back in so <laughs> maybe a golden toilet even i don't think that matches exactly but i don't care and we'll call that bathroom done for the upstairs i've gone ahead and worked on the hallway just getting the flooring and wallpaper and it's the same as downstairs but i think i actually want to start off with the bedroom at the moment we could do this one because it has like a gold accent to it maybe we will actually i know there's a lot of flooring happening in this build but <laughs> We could go on the fancier side for the bedroom. Do something like this for the wallpaper, maybe. I The orange, like, wood tone kind of fits in with, like, the tiger stripe down here, but also kind of this, like, reddish-orange tone on the cabinets. I don't know. I think it's a nice callback, but <laughs> let me know what you guys think. Am I just going absolutely insane with Jasmine's room? I definitely feel that Jasmine would have, like, a really nice bed because she is a princess. I want kind of this frame, but I'm not particularly a fan of the bedding. Maybe something like this could work. <laughs> that might be our best option. Get a couple of end tables, maybe these ones to match the flooring. Or we have these ones from, I think this is growing together. I think I'll probably go ahead and get more of these lights in here as well. And then I want to get a dresser for in here as well. Maybe something like that. I think that looks nice. And maybe a sun clock for fun somewhere. But I do think that is probably going to be the bedroom done, which means our last room is just this office slash maybe treasure area. I don't really know yet. <laughs> okay, I settled on making it like a mini kind of treasure room. So I just found like basically every kind of antique looking or like gold thing that I could find. So it's a lot of just random stuff in here, old trophies. We've got a bunch of like different vases in here. And yeah, that's that room. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and work on this hallway real quick. I think I just want to do like a simple kind of like maybe bookshelf or something out here. So I'll probably go the fancy route and do like this one from, I believe this is from Modern Lux. We could get some kind of like yoga mat or something as kind of like a reference to the flying carpet. <laughs> And I guess you can do yoga while she reads or something. I don't know. And if she wants to see like a whole new world, I know cameras weren't really a thing <laughs> at that time, but we can get a few like picture frames up or something for all of her adventures that she goes on with Aladdin or something. And that's honestly probably where I'm going to leave that house. I actually think that one turned out really cute. With the second house done, let's find out who is getting our last house. It's going to be... Merida. I was honestly surprised that Merida was considered an official Disney princess given that she is a thing of Pixar, but she is probably one of my favorite princesses if I am completely honest. I loved that movie so much. I think that she is so cool. And for her color scheme, it's going to be very similar to Jasmine's, but we're going to be focusing primarily on like the darker green. So... I think that's what we'll do. And unfortunately, I am back on the diagonal, so this is going to be quite interesting. <laughs> what do we think of this roofing? Maybe I'll actually do that. I'm not sure entirely how I feel about it, but...
but it's what we're gonna go with. And I actually don't even know if her outfit is really green. It's more of, it is like a darker shade of green, but there's also a hint of blue to it. So I don't know. We'll just do our best. We'll throw in some red there here and there for her hair, but, or I guess more of like an orangey red. I don't know, but I'm definitely leaning towards like this color <laughs> for the house because it is just gorgeous and I think it matches perfectly but then is there any like accent wallpaper or anything we could go with some kind of stone I feel like that would like actually kind of work with her story a little bit I don't know why but I just kind of feel like it would so maybe we'll do like a few stone things on these sides now I'm also gonna get oh I guess probably more orange on this for her because I don't think she's like a full-on redhead more of a ginger with like the orangish kind of tone i definitely don't know what i'm talking about anymore though so just ignore me i'm just rambling at this point <laughs> oh that door is gorgeous i kind of like that actually okay so i ended up doing a lot but i settled on this door and these windows and i've just kind of put them all over the house but I think I'm definitely going more for like a dark green and orange type of vibe with this house then. And as for our layout, we are going to have our entrance be here. We'll do another kitchen living dining situation. Big bathroom over here. A proper office. Because <laughs> we've yet to give any of these princesses an office. Not that any of them need it. I'm thinking this room will actually be Merida's room where the ladder goes into. And then across the way, I want to make this into maybe like a sporty area. I don't think we have any kind of like archery stuff, unfortunately, but I'm sure I can find something to put in that room. So that is what we are working with for our last house. And I don't know that I want to do the exact same thing as the outside. The moons could be cute, but I feel like it's a little too much. Actually, maybe something like this. <laughs> It does have a hint of kind of a lighter green, but the dark green is present in the border, and I think that's actually really, really nice. Plus, I love this wallpaper. <laughs> but let's go ahead and start with the kitchen, which is definitely going to have to go over in this area. <laughs> and for this, we may actually have to use these counters from vampires. Oh, but we do have this issue of the diagonals again. <laughs> for the kitchen. I am never building on a diagonal again after this video you guys like I am not doing any more diagonal builds afterwards I'm also realizing I haven't actually done flooring yet so <laughs> I think I'm gonna go with this one though because it matches perfectly with our wallpaper so I'll just actually bring that throughout the entire house other than our bathroom downstairs for our dining area maybe we'll do something like this and just stick it in the corner I'm using a few things from Realm of Magic because there is a witch involved in Brave and I don't know it just lots of nature vibes kind of mystical vibes as well so I feel like that actually works really well but I think this is actually a bar table so we're gonna have to get some bar stools for this and I think I'm gonna have to rotate that. So I guess we'll do something like that. I know all of the dining situations I've put in these builds are like two person only, like they're not very big, but these are supposed to be tiny homes, even if the size doesn't exactly match. And then we have our living room, which this is like the perfect area for some kind of TV. Probably this is gonna go like right there. And then we have this kind of love seat from Lovestruck that is like the exact color I'm looking for. Do we have any chairs that maybe match with that though? I highly doubt it. Maybe we can find something with a similar color at least. We do kind of have one actually. So I think I can probably get away with putting that like right there and we'll get a coffee table of some sort. I'm not really liking any of our options, <laughs> but I think this one might be our best bet unfortunately though so i should add some curtains to these windows and i'm kind of leaning towards using these but i'll size them down and just kind of like half cover the windows i guess at least those ones i feel like merida would honestly just like throw a sheet or something over the windows and then call it a day maybe he got some of these like clawed up pictures on the walls because like the whole thing with brave is Merida's mom turns into a bear. I don't know why. I just feel like those would be really good. Maybe this picture can be like a 
portrait of her parents or something. I don't know. But I think that is our main area complete. Other than I may want to get like a plant or something in here. Maybe I'll just put like one behind this chair here. <laughs> so then let's come over here and work on this bathroom. I don't know why, but I feel like she would go with kind of like a makeshift look for stuff. So part of me really wants to use the shower tub combo, but it's so gross. Maybe that's just her vibe. She doesn't really care about being a princess anyway. She's all about just like doing her own thing. And I admire that of her. We don't have any like crafted looking toilets that are under green and orange, I guess. And there is our bathroom other than we should get some curtains in here because that's a big window for a bathroom all right on to the office maybe we'll go for this i actually feel like this is probably more of the color that merida's dress is so let's go ahead and get a desk for merida i'm still kind of leaning into the whole like witch part of this movie but i'm not really liking that desk actually we don't have the right colors we could do this it's kind of simple but we can get a typewriter though for our computer <laughs> And truthfully, there's not too many things I actually want to put into this room. I think something like this is actually pretty good. So I am going to call that room good. I went ahead and finished off the rest of the rooms. So here we have Merida's bedroom. And since she is a strong, independent woman who doesn't need no man, she has a single bed. I gave her a couple of like trunks, suitcases as a dresser. I put a few bear things around to represent the members of her family who turned into bears. And on the wall, she got some of these like glyph things. And I imagine it would be to like tell a story or like a legend in her thing. I don't know. Over here for her like sports kind of room, I gave her a little like basketball kind of thing. But the closest thing that we have to archery is a dartboard, which I have added in here as well. So that is... Merida's house complete. And after some light landscaping, all of the houses are complete. These homes are available for you now on the gallery. I made it into a residential rental so that way you could have multiple sims living here. They're all their own thing. But it's labeled as Princess Tiny Homes on the Gallery. You'll be able to find it under my ID, the Sim and Koala, with two A's at the end. I always have it in the description for you guys if you ever want to download anything from me. I'm not even going to lie. This took me so long to do. I think I spent literally the entire day working on these builds. But I hope that you like all the builds and the video. And let me know which one of these builds is your favorite. I definitely think I'm going to have to go with the Snow White one, which is so funny because Snow White is like my least favorite princess. But anyway, let me know what you guys think. And with that, I'm going to go. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe to the channel and make sure you have notifications on so you don't miss anything. Be sure to follow my socials. Links are below. I'll see y'all soon. Bye.